I'm gonna be a hundred percent, one million percent, one trillion, one billion percent real with y'all right now, man. I'm going through a bit of a slump. Whether it's in football or just life in general, you feel me? You don't even have to be an athlete, go through a slump. You could be just trying to get good grades in school. Every time you're striving to do something, you know, big or huge or something bigger than everyone else thought you could do, you're always gonna hit a point where you start to lack motivation, where you, where you start to feel like everything's moving slow and you get in this little bit of an attitude, a slump, man, and that's how I feel right now. I'm being 100% pure for y'all, man. I mean, y'all have seen me, bro. I haven't put out videos like I used to. I've been trying to figure out like what it is and I just feel like I, I've been kind of burnt out, bro. And you guys can probably tell by the content, man. Like we used to do a lot of different things on the channel and I kind of strayed away from that and I don't know what the reason is. But just because I'm telling you that doesn't mean I'm giving up, doesn't mean I'm stopping it's just a little rough patch, you feel me? And once you get over this rough patch, we're going to get it going again. I think a lot of it has to do is a lot of you guys are waiting for me to, you know, play and everything like that. And I'm not playing until September with Compton College. So not much is going on right now. And I think that's what it is. You know what? I'm going to just keep praying to God and I'm never going to give up. So if you're watching this and you're going through a slump in something that you're doing, never give up, all right? I got your back, man. As long as you got my back, man. A lot of you guys be in my DMs telling me, you know, Telling me I'm the reason that you did this. I'm the reason that you started a YouTube and everything like that. And that's what really keeps me going. Thank you guys. But what? Good certified gang. It's your boy Keiko. And I'm back with another video. Back with another banger, man. As you can tell, we're in the crib with it, man. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. Why not bring the series that you guys love back? How good was this NFL player in high school? Now, as you guys can tell by the title, we got a banger today. The Honey Badger. Honey Badger. I don't even know what a Honey Badger looks like, but I don't know. Hey, we're going to be finding out how good was Tyron Matthew in high school. Obviously, all of us know the Honey Badger, man. We know who Tyron Matthew is, man. One of the best undersized safeties that I've ever seen. Tyron Matthew is, is not only, bro, a staple for a lot of people, you know, growing up. Bro, a lot of people call themselves now the Honey Badger. Like, they're trying to, you know, name themselves after him. Tyron Matthew has a great, inspiring story. You all know what happened to him in college and getting to the NFL. And he got to the NFL, and, hey, he made a name for himself. He went crazy, you feel me? But today, we want to find out how good was Tyron Matthew, a.k.a. the Honey Badger, in high school. Well, how was he before he was the Honey Badger? Like, was he the Honey Badger in high school, or was he not? I don't know. So we're going to be taking a look at his high school film and seeing how good he was in high school, bro. With that being said, let me know what NFL player you want to take a look at next. Leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new, follow me on IG, and let's get straight into the video. Alright y'all boys, make sure you guys smash that like button, bro. We got to get back into the YouTube algorithm and show them how crazy we going over here. But anyways, Tyron Matthew. We know, Kansas City Chiefs, LSU, he was going crazy at LSU, but we're going to take it back all the way to New Orleans, Louisiana, St. Augustine High School, class of 2010, Tyron Matthew, this is before the Honey Badger, and by the way, is Tyron, is it me or is it like Tyron Matthew the only light-skinned dude I've ever seen from Louisiana? Every dude that I've seen from Louisiana is usually dark-skinned, and they be talking about a safe beach, safe beach, you know, feel me, that's how they talk down there, you feel me, but... Uh, you know, Tyron Matthews is the only light-skinned dude I've ever seen from there. But anyways, like I said, man, Tyron Matthews is in the class of 2010. He's kind of old, you feel me? I, I was class of 2015, so that's five years later, you feel me? But, uh, but St. Augustine High School in New Orleans, Louisiana, so obviously he stayed home and went to LSU. But at the time, 247 Sports had him as a four-star recruit, the number six best recruit in Louisiana, the 15th best cornerback, so he was a corner, and then uh, 218th best uh, player in the class of 2010. So you know the story, he went to LSU, then went to the NFL and everything like that. But I wanna see what St. Augustine High School is about. I don't know if you know how good they are or anything like that. If you're from Louisiana or New Orleans, let me know how they are, uh, if they're good now, if they were good back then. But we're just gonna get right into it, man. How good was Tyron Matthew in high school? Let's find out, y'all boys. Tyron Matthew, high school highlight remix. We went on YouTube for this one. Couldn't find that no huddle or anything like that. Let's see what they're talking about. Let's make sure our volume's turned down. We're not trying to get to copyright it. Shout out prepforce.com. You feel me? Coming with all the nice highlights, man. These are, okay, first and foremost, this is 2009. So as you can see, they still got the, the big hoodies, the big, the big hoodies, the big jerseys, you feel me, and everything like that. The drip, I don't know if the drip was there, but. I don't know what number he is, all right? 
probably 13. Ooh, yeah, this is him right here. Ooh, so he was an offensive threat too. Ooh, I thought he was going to score. He broke hella tackles on that one. His team is blue and yellow. Good catch. Good catch then. I didn't know Tyron Matthew played both ways in high school. Oh, yeah, he's going up for that one. Good catch. Come on, DB. It wasn't even like he was beat or nothing. The DB just didn't go up for the ball. I mean, maybe you call a push off. Maybe. All right, here we go. This is what he was doing at LSU as well. Oh, he's going to the crib. He's going to the crib. The only light skin that I've seen from Louisiana. You feel me? Going crazy. Huh. I mean, his ball skills is going stupid. We haven't seen him on defense yet. Here he is at quarterback taking off. Is it Teddy? Is it a Teddy Honey, Teddy Honey Badger? Okay. Probably got a flag for flipping into the end zone like that. Here you go on pump return again. Mm. Ugh, and he was running over. He put the shoulder into people. Got him on like a little bit of a quick little pass here. Ooh, he shook him. Put it. See how the old slow motion used to go? Now we got all these edits and stuff that we can do. That's old slow motion right there. When am I going to see him on defense? Or did he play any type of defense at all? Who knows? They had him at, uh, on 247 Sports as a cornerback. There you go. Oh, that was a good pick right there. I was just speaking about defense, and we saw it. Let me go back a little bit. All right, let's see. You can't really see what coverage you're playing, but you're right here. You break on the ball. Uh, give me that. Uh, to the crib. That's a pick six. There goes the, the, the small sighting of the honey badger in high school, man. Yeah, see, he's a dangerous kick return. What just happened, bro? Wow. If he runs his back, I want to watch this play again, bro. Wow. Oh, wow. But look, bro, that's, that was crazy. I'm like, what happened? Bro. Nobody down the ball. Like, I mean, he touched the ball. Not Tyron Matthew, but the other dude, he touched the ball. Look at this. Bro, touched the ball, but like... No whistle was blown. They didn't down it. Wow, bro. The whole team is getting fired after a play like this, bro. I'm firing the whole team, bro. I'm going to forfeit the game. Wow. Now, right, here he is on defense again. Woo! Give me the arm. Oh, and he stayed up, bro. Hey, bro. He was cold. I ain't going to lie. That, that play right there was cold, bro. I mean, the quarterback could have thrown a, he got a laser that in there. The quarterback, if you're watching this, you got a laser that in there. You feel me? Like, you can't just throw it up like that. He just broke on that, jumped up, and grabbed it and stayed up. That's a fire play right there. That was fire, bro. All right, here he is. Where he at? He on defense. Woo! Hey, good tackle. I know the Honey Badger came with the tackle, but whoever this Whoever your teammate was, I don't know if he's in the league or not with you, but whoever your teammate was, he just got stiff on. Look at this. Pow! He got disrespected. Good form tackle, though. Way to drive them legs and throw him into his own team. The Honey Badger ain't nothing to play with. I don't know, like a little screen. Uh, uh, juked out the whole team. Bro, oh my gosh, bro. Did I even go through his vitals? I think he's like 5'8", bro. I mean, the fact that he's just doing this, or he was doing this in high school, to people that were bigger than him, that's crazy. Good catch. Good catch, my boy. Oh, yeah. Good catch. Yeah, man, he had very good ball skills. I, I didn't even notice he was on defense on that one. Oh, my gosh. He was juking out. Oh, my gosh. Bro, he was juking out the whole team. What? Tyron Matthew was nasty. Oh yeah, that's a pick. Don't don't do that now. Don't do that now. They thought it was still in play. Don't do that now. Yeah, both sides of the ball, man. In high school, he was going stupid, bro. Just think a light skinned dude from Louisiana going stupid, bro. Like I said, as you can see, look, he's playing Louisiana. Good pick, bro. Or good catch. But as you can see, he playing Louisiana. Every other dude on the other team, bro, is dark skinned. Tyron Matthews, the only light skinned dude. Hey, that's an easy score. That's an easy score. Maybe not. Ooh, to the corner of the end zone. Teddy. I think that's the end of the vid right there. Oh, what is this? 
Hold up, now. If you watch this long to the video, you seeing some. Oh, she working a glute, boy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, let me quit. <laughs> For all you do is be in the comments talking about some. Of course, Tyron Matthews was good in high school. Why would you even make a video like this? Like, bro, of course he's good. He went to the league, but a lot of y'all don't be understanding that. Sometimes it's about a player's progression. Some players just may look all right in high school and go stupid, you know, once they get to college, once they get to, you know, so I just be curious, you feel me? As far as how good was Tyron Matthew uh, when he was in high school, real deal certified, real deal hit a real deal. Man, he's going crazy, you feel me? He was both threats. So I, uh, he was a threat on both sides of the ball, and it makes sense because once he got to college, he was punt returning. I mean, obviously, he, you know, he was a defensive back in college, but he was punt returning doing everything, so he was a threat. For sure, for sure, and he was somebody that you had to definitely take a look at when you were in that film study, bro. Tyron Matthew was certified in high school, man. Let me know what next NFL player you want me to look at next. Leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Follow me on IG, and I'm out, dog.